The dust will drown the Midwestern United States in not only dust, but fear, misery, and lost dreams. The main cause of the Dust Bowl was the drought that lasted six years in the Midwest. Lack of water and irrigation caused an insufficient water supply to surrounding crops and wild stock. Even when rain rarely poured during the drought, the crops and plants were still not able to be salvaged. This is due to the previous absence of water where crops did not have enough of it to grow and prosper. A lesser cause of the Dust Bowl was the government policies that caused farmers to move to the Midwest and overproduce certain crops. The government instituted the Homestead Act, which gave people the chance to move to the Midwest and become farmers. With the increase of farmers and demand for crop production, the land was overrun and was soon infertile. Inexperienced farmers using the wrong farming techniques combined with high winds created huge dust storms that we now know as the Dust Bowl. To make matters worse, the Great Depression worsened the effects of the Dust Bowl. The Great Depression was one of the worst economic downturn in the history of the industrialized world and induced fear and sadness to those it encompassed. The Dust Bowl combined with the Great Depression caused many families to starve and limit the amount of food being used. Due to the lack of jobs, family living in the Midwest began to leave in search of new opportunities elsewhere. These migrants were becoming dehumanized due to the prejudice and hatred they experienced. Migrants fled the Midwest for California and the prosperity that they assumed to be associated with it. There was not enough work for the approximated 2.5 million people that migrated, which then caused even more of a problem in the U.S. Families had to live in places of small capacities due to the lack of income. With the decrease of money, families had to minimize their belongings and cannot afford any higher quality home. Since migrants lived in such small houses, most families had to leave their pets behind. Life in California was rough due to Californians treating migrants harshly and giving them the name of Okies. Landlords did not pay the workers enough money, causing migrant families to not have enough to eat. Recent innovations to fix the effects of the Dust Bowl have since been created. Today's scientists have studied dust pneumonia in order to find a cure to prevent any further occurrences. Franklin D. Roosevelt passed the Soil Conversion Act, which paid farmers to learn better techniques to provide nourishment to the soil and to decrease the chance of the land being overused again. Since the Dust Bowl, scientists have learned from their mistakes and have worked to correct them. Scientists have studied the past Dust Bowl countless of times in order to prevent another situation from happening. Intolerance during the Dust Bowl is much like intolerance today. People are still being discriminated against due to their race or culture, just like during the 1930s. Although intolerance may seem like a thing of the past, it still persists in today's time. People do not realize what a horrible occurrence the Dust Bowl was, and that if humanity does not learn from the past, then people may have to face the tragedies of the Dust Bowl again. The time has come to learn from our past mistakes to make tomorrow a better future.